I can't put it into words. Um, Yesterday, uh, I met two uh, elderly women. They were so funny. Um, and I ended up like chatting with them and uh, to hear their stories. And uh, they, they, they told me they are coming from Chakiv. And they showed me a picture of their house, their homes, all bombarded, all destroyed. And um, yeah, and they still like to make jokes about it. Like they still like have, they're having this good mood. I mean, like nothing happened. Um, yeah. Insane amount of stories here, insane amount of emotions, and um, it's. I think it's good that I'm here. fleeing for their life, you know, and on this side, you know, it's only women and children who come because all men between 18 and 60 must stay there and fight for the country. So the situation here is not good at all. Um, it's cold weather, it's raining, and we're going to expect snow this week, and people doesn't have really as much clothes for that. We've been here most of the day, haven't we? And I don't think we want to go, actually. Um, we came in and we were completely taken back, I think, by the amount of people that were willing to take us under their wing and show us around. So the people here volunteering are absolutely amazing. But also, we crossed into Ukraine, which was quite emotional um, because I think when you watch the news and you watch reports you forget that these are actual people that are literally leaving their whole life behind I'm just I'm overwhelmed with how humanity is so good here but yet in a, such a dire situation and uh, that is very special Me, like, brings me joy if I see people smiling that are affected by catastrophes and um, it makes me happy that I can uh, give them like a, a moment of forgetting the daily lives, daily struggles. <laughs> <laughs>